Hi, I'm Dave from Central Flowers. This is my wife, Krishna. Hello. Today, we're going to show you a very simple way of arranging your flowers at home, in the office, or wherever you want to, to display them. This, I have just previously done. It was very, very simple. Thank you. Very important to, to make sure your vases are the right size, the right height, and they are bacterially clean. It's very important to use a little bit of bleach, is the best option. In your vase with your water, give it a little bit of a scoot around, and then we can dip that into another container. And you'll still have the residue of the bleach in that bath. Okay. So then we proceed with adding fresh water to about that height. We don't want any of the foliage or any of the flowers touching the water or being in the water. This creates the bacteria. Right, Chris is going to... Well, the flowers have just arrived in your box that you've received from us and you will unpack them, correct Dave? Yes. yes. Yep. Now, also this water needs to be warm, warm to tepid. Okay. Warm water is thinner than cold water, so it gets up the stem and a lot, a lot better. Hydrate and drink, because they've travelled overnight to you. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just slipping a nice sharp pair of scissors, slipping that sleeve open so that we're not damaging any of the blooms. This is how you will receive your blooms in this form, not fully blown, otherwise they would have damaged. So you've got lots of bars life left in these. Dave, your turn. Right, so we need to remove the bottom leaves so that they're not in the water, otherwise they will compost and rot. This is what causes um, premature death of the flowers, for the want of another word. When we move those, we work out the size of the vase to the size of the flowers. We cut that today, I think we'll go to about that level. We can cut it on an angle. Yes, about 45 degree angle for drinking purposes. It's not flat on the bars, the stem. You could imagine it on a 45 degree angle, the water's getting underneath and sucking up that yummy, yummy, yummy water and going, thank you very much. Right, here we are, Dave. Right. Oh, sorry. Second one. Assistant needs to train here. <laughs> there we go. Take those for you. Again, cut them to about that same length. We're going to recut again before they go into the vase. So this, at this stage, it's not really important how far we cut this. And I've just cut the rubber bands off these, uh, which is called Draxina. These are Oriental pink lilies. There are no bottom leaves on these, so we don't need to do anything with those. So you just start off with a couple, a couple of your stems of flowers. Sort of cross them over a little bit. Just add, so just keep turning and add the foliage to that. We'll do about three of those. So we're ending up with a nice spiral effect. And we'll add more flowers, just keeping it, keep turning it, putting them in on a little bit of an angle so that we can get we can get a little bit of a spiral going on. Cut all the stems again. So that they're all even on that 45 degree angle, and then boom, bang, you're in your vase. Then you and just place the flowers in the vase and let them just spread out on their own accord. Wow. And then you can just clear that. So this is the one Dave did earlier, and we've got white orientals and then pink orientals with the Draxina leaf instant arrangement on your dining room table.